All right, guys, good uh, good job with the last video. There's a couple changes we need to make in our login.php page involving our form, though. So all this stuff up here is 100% uh, sound, I believe. So let's go down here and let's look at our form. We got our include, content, faculty, return to menu. That's cool. Um, right here, H2, it's not create new user. That is for our fac, or our new underscore fac page. Just call this faculty login or new user or something appropriate. Faculty login, I'm gonna save that. And our form action, no, we gotta get rid of this too. This is supposed to be login.php. Login.php, save that. Let's keep going down. Faculty login, if errors, that's good. Message, that's what we're looking for. Collecting errors, display them. Username, password, everything looks good. Uh, and not create user. Login. Login. Okay, so let's go to our login.php page and let's try to log in a name that's not. Uh, been created on our database. So just create anything, something that's not on our database. So I'm going to go ahead and type in paper plate. I just ate food. And my password will be paper plate too. So it should spit back our else statement. And it did. Okay, perfect. Username, password incorrect. Please make sure you have caps lock key off. It's already off, but that user's not there. So let's go ahead and try to go. Well, let's go to our new underscore fac nope faq page and let's create a new user and i'm going to create a user and it's just going to be called billy with a password of billy create user the user was successfully created now let's go ahead and try it out and see if it works on our login.php page and if it does work it should take us to our faculty page billy Billy, login. There it is, faculty.php. All right, guys. So make sure you have these uh, these adjustments made on our login.php page. It was a uh, oh, I got to clean up some CSS right here for our faculty.php page. But you guys know how to do that now. That's not the difficult part. What the difficult part is is getting this far, redirecting our forms and our submissions and catching errors and making sure when we click on the right submit or create or login buttons it takes us to the correct page so again login.php faculty login and value of login not create new user alright guys good luck with this hope this made sense I'll see you guys in the next video